Hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Jarati Podcast. We are back with another podcast Wednesday, July 5th at 823 p.m. This podcast is brought to you by Zero Energy, the leading factor in today's oh video, gosh. today's podcast. This was so extra, Jake. Hey. <laughs> They're not going to send us any now. I feel like we had a chance of getting sent like that product by them. I don't know. We're kind of lame. You know, like when, when guys like girls that are like, if she's not easy, I, I want that. Oh, my that. gosh. Look at Now the Red Bull's going to look at me and be like, oh, oh he's not easy. I'm going to slide him a check. So he he could, just gave nah, him nah, a nah. shout out. I'm going to slide him a check so they can go. he can go like, take the clothes off. Okay. Red Bull. Off. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> yes, we love you, Red Bull. Please I Red Bull. I'll song. slip off the thong. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Get you get what you get, bro. I don't care no more. <laughs> Dong, you're so dumb. <laughs> They're never um, gonna send us a check, bro. But it's all good. Shout hey, out, Red never Bull. Never say never. They might. You know who I've been trying to get to send me product? Way. Oh, Way. We love you. And you know what? I don't think Way will ever give in, dude. Way. I feel like Way only. Like, dude, have you seen their following? They only follow celebrities. Yeah. Not one influencer. Nah, maybe, but no. But I saw Blanca get sponsored by them. So I know they sponsored. Oh, shit. The they other day, sponsored. I was watching Blanca's video, and then she got sponsored. I was like, oh, this means they sponsor. Because I, up until that moment, I didn't know if they sponsored people. But then they did sponsor her. So I'm like, okay, so they do sponsor people. So now I'm on this mission. All right, our management got to step it up or else. Yeah, for real. I'm like, y'all got to get me this deal. I, we just love, okay, we love this product. We're not going to say the name anymore. <laughs> hey, I'm directly behind the camera. There's like, <laughs> there's like a thousand of their products right there. <laughs> hey, I swear, there's probably some around. <laughs> Dude, there, there's everywhere. Like it's everywhere, every single one, whatever. Okay, anyways, we're gonna stop this free promo. Okay, stop this free promo. Um, anyways, guys, we are hitting you guys a day earlier. Normally, we do our podcast Thursday. The day of, you know. Yeah, you know, raw, real, and unprepared. But. I'm sorry for today's podcast that it's going to be so short. It's just I'm in a rush. Yeah, Jake's in a little mini rush because he is heading out. Um, and he'll be back tomorrow, but he's heading out to Bakersfield. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing a little bit. Not right now. Not yet. Not they yet. I already know by the time this podcast is up. I bet. I'm going deep sea fishing with my family. I've never gone. So ever since I was eight years old, my dad and his cousin, I don't know. It was like my cousins. I don't know how they're related, but my dad and my family went to go deep sea fishing and it was like the the night before they didn't know if they were going to go. Right. Mm -hmm. So they didn't tell me like, oh, yeah, we're going. So get ready in the morning. Yeah. I wake up the next morning and they're gone because you have to leave at like 4 a.m. to go to the, the, what's called, it the port. It takes a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to go to okay. leave a hella early. So when I woke up that day that they left, I didn't even know. I was like so sad because they left without me and they took my little brother. They took Jason. <laughs> Out of all people, they took Jason and not me. I was like, damn, <laughs> picking, picking sides now. And they haven't gone since. Okay. Nah. Yeah, because um, this was super last minute. Jake got a call when we were on. I got a call yesterday, trip. actually. Was or two days ago. No, two days ago. No, no two it days was ago. yesterday, right? It was two, was it two, it was two days ago or yesterday. And then they like, hell, last minute, like, we're going deep sea fishing. You want to go? And bro, my childhood dream has been fulfilled so far. I'm, everything's, yeah. going, everything's going right so far. So, you know. Yeah, and that's why he's, like, doing all these efforts to go. Because this week is super, super busy. And normally, he would have had to skip out on it because... Um, we have two videos that need to be completed. Well, they needed to be completed by today. Anyways, but because it's just such a, like, you've really been wanting to do it. Or um, like, let's, yeah, let's let I'm it like, slide. Just go, yeah, just go. It's fine. Like, get it done. Because I don't know when his family's going to um, go again. Yeah, so it's kind of like a rare opportunity. Um, but it's so freaking busy. Like, today we just got home. We literally got home, like, eight hours ago from Palm a, Springs. Yeah, from Palm Springs. We were out there for 4th of July and then we just kind of wanted to get content. Um, This video, this 4th of July video, it's going to be good, but I feel like we didn't get like a lot of content because it wasn't our trip. So normally, um, like the past this, trips. Like this is how it works. Like you rent the Airbnb, like whoever rents the thing, they get the content, right? And they get to like set the rules. So what happened was- well, this was the first Airbnb that we haven't rented. Yeah, exactly. So usually yeah. by our like- when we went to rent the Airbnbs, we have a, like a set of rules and we get the content, right? And then but no, 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 no. Everybody usually gets content too, but we just feel like we usually film everything because we, since we paid for the trip, we feel more at like right to film every little bit piece of content. Like the highest, like for instance, when we went to Palm, uh, Palm Springs last time, the Easter egg video, like nobody else filmed it because that was like our set video. Or that, my hide and seek video. Or yeah, or her hide and seek video, you know? Yeah. So for this time, Nelly did an amazing video. Go, go check it out. It's a, can I tell him? 
Yeah, I think she's gonna. Yeah. Okay. It's, okay, just it's, water more, pro, it's more promo. It's more promo. Yeah. All right. So she did a huge water balloon fight. So yeah. For like the majority of it, she uh, asked us not to record, so we didn't record. Mm-hmm. And yeah. dude, that video is gonna come out so good. It was so fun to participate yeah. in it. Yeah, it was really, really fun, and it was really cool seeing Nelly's character development. Um, that's freaking amazing because I feel like she's really. For one, I feel like she's really inspired by us. Yeah, 100%. I think she really, really is. Little things that I catch on that I freaking love seeing is like, for example, um, I've been bringing her with me a lot lately and it's a multiple reasons. One, I feel like she's in this era where she's kind of growing up right now and um, she's going through all these like changes in life and I, like I see her and I see me. So that's why I feel like that I've been bringing her around a lot more because like, I know like the stages that she's going through and like, obviously like, you need someone to talk to, which is really cool era. because having like an older sibling that, uh, that like pushes you and pushes you makes like your development go higher, you know? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, increase it. It's just good to have support. I feel right. So she's going through this era. So that's one of the reasons. And then two, I feel like in her career, like she's in a very important part as well, because right now Nelly is in a like young audience era. And that's like her audience is kind of kids who are the same age as her or younger. Like that's the people that watch her videos. It's people who are like, you know, um, getting their first crush, their first kiss, their right. This kind of stuff. And I was, I've been in that era, so I know kind of like what the audience wants to see and kind of like the business moves and stuff. So I kind of try to like tell her that like this era, it will never come back. Right. And then from that era, you'll move on. She was in the quince one and now she's going to move on to to like high school ish, you know, and then you're going to keep moving on stages of life. Right. So I feel like since I've been bringing her along more, she's been kind of seeing the process of what it's like to create a YouTube video like mine. And I've had such a huge character development when it comes to YouTube videos. I remember those days when you were you were at her age and you were renting. No, no, you were buying the pool in the backyard. Do you remember, remember that? I remember that. That's yeah, like the so, first videos I would watch. So I've been through her era. And so it's really interesting to see her come up and like kind of like seeing her development. Anyway, so I feel like she looks up to us a lot because like little things that we do in our videos, she picks up on. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, during this Palm Springs trip, um, the first thing I did was when we pulled up to the house, I set the camera up and then we walked in the Airbnb, right? And, and when then when we, we left, in, I seen it. She did it, <laughs> yeah. right? So I love to see how she picks up on these little things to improve her video quality because I could tell she's learning. You know what I mean? Because, oh my. ASMR. ASMR, ASMR. No, I got y'all. I got y'all. Nah, ain't nobody want to hear oh, ASMR. I thought you were going to give her... Oh, okay. Hell nah. <laughs> if you're an ASMR person, you're probably like... You're in the category with people that like feet. 100%. You like people... You like when people like move their feet like... And they, you hear this sound. You're one of them. Oh my. <laughs> hey, what if I... Wait, I'm going to pop my neck. Ready? Listen. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're going <laughs> to pop your neck out. That's what you're going to do. Quick. I tried to fart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, this trip was really, really, why did you put them back in? You're literally still drinking it. I'm saving it for the road. Oh my this is my third God. one of the day. Do you want me to buy you a new one? I have two more in oh there. Oh my <laughs> God. Red Bull sponsor this man. Please. Sponsor him right now. Um, uh, anyways, back to the, back to the whole thing. Yeah. Anyways, this trip was really, really fun. And, um, it was Nelly's trip. She booked the Airbnb. So she had all the rights to the Airbnb. Um, so a lot of the content will be on her channel. We just have like highlights. We're, we're participating. It's also cool being on the other side of the videos. Like, you know, us, we're the host. We have to be like, bam, 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 bam. And then the people were just like, woo. But we were doing the woos, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was really cool being on the flip side, for sure, for sure. And it was also, like, really cool because, like, I, I think it's the first trip that's kind of been, like, spotted for us. And it was really fun to see, like, obviously there's, like, the downsides, all right? Like, you don't get the master. Like, you got to clean. You got to cook, right? Because you're, like, you, you didn't pay for the trip, right? But it was really cool to, like, just be on the flip side. Yeah, it, it was very cool. different, but it was really fun. Um, so you guys have to definitely go check out those videos. That's going to be really fun. It was a really fun Palm Springs trip. And we started really whipping out the drone this trip. Dude, so I've been, like, learning how to fly the drone. And I swear, this video, it's not like, don't think of, like, some crazy stock photos that you see on Google of drones and stuff. Yeah. It's not like that. But we got some cool shots that are going to be implemented in the videos. And I'm super excited to see the video outcome and, like, see how much... Like development we've had within the past couple videos. Yeah, because you've had the drone for a while, but Jacob hasn't really figured out how to use it. And I feel like this time I use it three times and I figured out how to use it more than I've used it ever, you know? Yeah, because you've had it for like a few like months now. Like but one month. 
Yeah, <laughs> no, you've had it for longer than that, but oh. we just haven't whipped it out. Um, <laughs> it's been hard. <laughs> it's been hard to figure out the drone because it's like I have nothing. Like drone, hands off. I have no clue how to use it. Like Jacob knows the ins and outs. It's of like that. a man, the man thing. So I'm, I'm the man guy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive you to where you need to be, and I'm gonna. The frick! Ah, right, you don't deserve no coffee. <laughs> That's not, that's not, um, <clears throat> anyways. Oh, we're having this huge issue right now. Please let me know the solutions because I really need help. Okay. Have you guys had this issue with Airbnb? So I'm trying to book a trip for something that's like coming up that you guys are literally gonna be so excited about when you find out. And I'm keeping it a secret for a few weeks, but it's super, super excited. And yeah, it's just really amazing. And so anyways, I'm trying to book this fucking trip, but Airbnb does not let me. It basically says that I'm at risk for throwing a party and it blocks me from like half the Airbnbs. I feel like, you know what that has to, I don't know, because it did to my account. I was going to say, like, maybe the one of the owners, like, on the Airbnb side, the homeowner Airbnb side, they could say, like, a secret message to Airbnb, other Airbnb hosts, and it goes, like, to the, to the directly like, to the company. We've tried with three accounts now. Yeah, but it goes directly to the company saying, like, they threw, they messed up my house or something like that, but you can't see it. So maybe that could be an issue. You know what I'm talking We've about? We've never messed up any house. Once. What house? We didn't mess it up, but uh, Thea ripped the door in, but oh, you paid shit. for it. But I paid for it. What do you mean? Okay, Thea basically ate a baseboard, but I paid like 300 bucks to fix it. So for a they baseboard. Better, they better not have fined me for that. I mean, like not give me a bad review because I paid for it. And I, I confessed. I confessed. It wasn't even like they found out. Like I literally texted the host. I was like, oh shoot, sorry. Like send Thea ate invoice. a corner. <laughs> like, yeah, send me an invoice. But that's the only thing we've ever messed up. It's yeah. not like, and we don't leave places trashed or like any of that. We actually like do our, whatever. So I don't know what's going on. And um, somebody needs to help me now because this trip is literally like I'm a few days out of having to go and I don't have the freaking space. So uh, we're in big trouble. And this is a really huge deal for us right now. Like this is massive. And speaking about another huge deal, we have ants in our house. The black ants. <laughs> so this week we have uh, Terminex coming over and they're going to ex excavate Dem demolish i don't know whatever they gotta exterminate? do exterminate exterminate there you go excavate you know what excavate is what's ex excavate dig oh excavate 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 what the f okay but yeah we're gonna get terminex and like get this house wiped down clean no roaches we don't got roaches no roaches no, Ew, no don't flies. say that we do not have roaches that's nasty we got one roach Oh, <laughs> Ellie's the roach <laughs> ellie's the roach oh <laughs> um, yeah we have a really bad issue and like i'm really annoyed but I'm kind of more annoyed at Jacob because we could have fixed this issue so long ago, but this man does not listen to me. So, yeah, that's why. That's pretty much why. We could have had these freaking ants gone. I should have called Terminex sooner. Dude, I was bugging Jacob like, Jake, call Terminex. Call the Jake, have you done it? And he would be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he wouldn't call. And so, like, I literally pressed him. When was it? Like, before the trip? Uh -huh. I Because I went inside of the pantry. So, our fake pantry and our real pantry, two opposite sides, right? So, our fake pantry is the one that is, like, a cabinet that the homeowners thought it, it was, was a pantry. It was our old pantry. I think it's a fake pantry. How are you going to charge this much money for a house and say that it's a pantry? Anyways. <laughs> so, we have our fake pantry and our real pantry. So, two separate corners. And the fact that our ants... Is I'm not yawning. The fact that our ants are in the real pantry... <laughs> is that what you're gonna say i was gonna say that they got to each corner so they got to all our food and i had to buy i'm literally gonna have to clean the whole pantry buy a whole new food like and jacob <laughs> was trying to treat the problem by getting little ant spray spraying all my food and then letting it drip down without wiping it dude oh my you know why Send i had help to, you know why i had to leave it it's because like it leaves a streak so if it, it's a border if an ant tries to go to the border it's gonna be like it didn't work uh, they were there the next day jake and, I wiped and our food <laughs> no you Hey, tell me why the, the ants are in our bathroom, too. They're everywhere. And that's why I was like, Jake, call Terminex, please. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, it's because I have to go to Target to get an ant trap. And then that story went on for a few days. And then the ant traps never came here. And then um, what was the next thing? Oh, what was my last straw? So they went into my oh, other pantry. They went, nah, nah, nah. They oh, went into your coffee syrup. Yeah, they went into my coffee syrup. And that's when I called it <laughs> quiz. And I called Jacob down here and I said, call Terminex right now like you're not leaving my site until you cock terminex they got in her coffee syrup like it's sealed bro and right when she opened it one died of like a sugar rush bro <laughs> it was like eh. nah, i don't play no more after that it was like nah y'all done you signed your death wish um and jake still didn't call terminex by the way <laughs> even though he lied to me and he was like okay okay i'm gonna call them and he didn't call them next day 
I see him talking to the neighbor outside asking him for a Terminex number. Like, bro, <laughs> search it up. What are you talking about hey, here? Hey, if I go to Terminex directly, it's $250. If I get the hookup from the neighbor, which his friend works at Terminex, it's probably like 180 Jacob, but the hookup took two weeks and all our food is ate. Now I have to pay 400 bucks to restock <laughs> our pantry. You see what I'm trying to say here? Yeah. And, and, and I'm upset. So that's too... Two two birds, one stone. Dude, I was so freaking mad. They got into my coffee syrups. It's just a huge problem. And like, we had this issue at our apartment too, but at our apartment, it was built on an ant farm. So that's why there was ants over there. But like the whole complex was having issues with it at, over there. And they were kind of like, supposedly they had called like a exterminating company to like come spray shit around the building. And stuff. How are you going to build on an ant farm and never expect the ants to come back, bro? Do you remember back, how bro? bad that was? They were in the closet. So that's how I knew it wasn't, because you know how sometimes ants will come if you leave like shit out? But over there, they were, like, in the closet and, like, the bathroom. It was weird places that ants should be there. Nah, like, speaking about bugs, you know those... I don't know how, but you have a, you get bananas from the store. You can wash them, do whatever. But if you leave a banana out for, like, a day, little gnats. This big, bro. Like, smaller than my... Like, that small, all right? Oh, yeah. We always have those. And then there's a big old fly right there. But look at the gnat. And then the gnats... That was your fault. Jake you left the balcony door open for, like, six hours on a hot-ass day. And that's why we have flies. <laughs> you throw the banana peel in the trash. And then if you don't throw the trash away the same day, bro, those gnats, they, like, they mate in one day and come yeah. with a thousand of them. Yeah, that's pretty bad, to be honest. We have that problem a lot because I have so many bananas at my house. <laughs> some right there. Yeah, dude, I have... Oh, look at it. You see it? I see that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I always have bananas at my house. So, like, there's always those fucking little gnat things. We have to get an assault rifle. You know what those are? No. An assault rifle. Is, you put, say, we're going to get banned. Can you not say the A word? Listen, listen. I know, but YouTube A, is... and then with salt, and it's a rifle. Okay, okay. So but you, YouTube you will cock it back, flag, and babe. it shoots salt. And it kills the gnats? It kills bugs. You shoot it. it has a, some of them have a laser, so you just pour it, and it shoots salt, and it hurts. Okay. How about we call Terminix? All right, I guess. How about we do that? The um, the the whole like banana problem that don't ever stop though because that's just it happens addicted. with every fruit. To be honest, you're addicted to bananas. Yeah, but it happens with like a lot of other fruits too. It just happens to be that bananas ripe really fast during the summer and then it just attracts it. But I don't know how else to fix that problem. To be honest, they're probably in the, inside the food already. But those don't bug me, Jake. The ants bug me. The ants are such an ick. Like you just see like a little trail of it. <laughs> <laughs> little fuckers, dude. They literally walk in a straight line. Like they make me so mad. Remember at the apartment we had like literally like up in the closet behind our clothes. Like I had to dump out my closet like three times because they would not leave us alone. And they wouldn't stop. Like you would clean it and they'd come back. I don't know why, dude. I don't know. We have an issue with ants. But hopefully on Saturday. Um, this guy will come and he'll fix my life problems because it is an issue. Oh, we also had a, a spider problem. We still do, bro. <gasps> you need to send um the clip to the editor. What clip? Of the spider. Oh, shoot. I, I got this funny, funny clip of not getting scared by a spider, bro. <laughs> so we're cleaning down the bottom floor and the bottom floor, I don't know how, but I think it's because our door has like a little crack on the bottom. So the bugs can like go in if they're really, really small. So one of them came in and built its whole home under our shoe rack. And I'm like, I pulled up the shoe rack because we're clean. And she wanted me to clean it with her because she didn't mm -hmm. want to get uh, scared by a uh, spider. So I pulled up the shoe rack. She's over there on the corner. And I see webs, bro. It's like a whole full house, but there's no spider there. So I'm like, uh, he moved out already. By the way, the first time we saw the spider was probably like, well, a week and a half ago. But I was so scared to clean that downstairs. And she ran. That I just... I was like, no, I'm not doing it. And I've been, I would ask you like, babe, like, let's go clean the downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and you were busy. So we had like neglected it for like a few days, so a week. You, so yeah, I, I lifted up the shoe rack, cleaned the webs and everything. And then I looked to the right and I see the spider crawling to the left, like crawling this way and that's facing that way. So she doesn't see it, it yet. It was big. So I, I'm like, oh shoot. I hope she doesn't look. I grabbed my phone. Hold up. I put the I put it to record, but right as I put record, she she looks it up a little bit and she sees the uh, the, the spider. She goes, ah! and she like runs, dude. Dude, the worst part was that Jacob was literally like smiling, like. like <laughs> you know let how me, frustrating that was. Let me try to find the video oh and I'll play the audio gosh. for you, bro. Yeah, that was really bad. I was literally so scared to check that freaking shoe rack for days. Like I. I knew I had to go clean downstairs because, you know, like, if there's one freaking spider, you know there's more. Like, you, those bitches, like, duplicate, quadruplicate. Like, they will come up from somewhere, from some nick and cranny. I, I, I got it. All right, listen, oh listen, listen. Oh, my gosh. Put it, put it low because I'm going to blow their ears. Look, look, go back. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> the 
stop me down the stairs. One more. <laughs> Dude, I was so mad because I knew there was a spider and Jacob was trying to gaslight me to think that there wasn't. Like, no, I didn't even know spider. there was a spider. I didn't even know there was a spider. When I would ask you to help me clean, you'd be like, Nat, there's not even a spider anymore. Like, I know there's a fucking spider in the garage. I don't care what you say. So, the <laughs> nah, first in the garage, I 100% there's one or you two. You keep telling me there isn't, so I don't get scared. So, their original spider was in the dog. What is it? Like what? The, the dog thingy? The dog thing that goes in the car. So oh, the hammock. Car, the hammock. The car hammock, right? Because it was all folded up and it was put on the first floor. Yeah, so and I was cleaning. And I pick <laughs> it up and the spider literally crawls on me and I actually... But that was a different drop. one. That was a black widow. That was big. Wasn't it? I, was didn't, a I didn't see it though. Bitch. But. That one was huge. <laughs> and I threw the stuff in the garage and I just ran at my like top. And I knew it's still in the garage somewhere. It's mating. It's making more little spiders. And I've been telling Jake to clean that garage because I swear it's going to kill us. Nah, Terminix got to take it away. The spider too? It does everything. You sure? Yep. Okay, well, you should have called them earlier. See? <laughs> We're getting infested with bugs, dude. I'm literally so frustrated by it. And, like, the worst part is that with, like, um, carpet, they just hide in the little freaking oh crevices. My. When we first moved here, there was a literal ant trail, like an ant farm going across the stairs, going up and up and yeah. every stair. I was like, no way. And, it, like, they're hidden. And also, I'm really scared about the dogs because, like, these spiders and ants can just get in the dog fur and, like, gone. Have you, ha have you ever had, like, a dog with fleas? Mm -mm. bro those are the worst days we had to get our carpet removed because there was fleas in the carpet yeah oh shit yeah thankfully fleas don't really go for humans like if a flea sees you it'll go on you and it'll probably bite you Is or a something flea but a pulga? i don't know i don't, I don't speak spanish bro because <laughs> i'm pretty sure those or no, which pulga, ones are the ones that bite you Got that's a squat meat huh? pulga yeah dumbass that's what yeah but it's both a pulga yeah but that's like the ghetto way of saying um like a swap meat yeah what is it? A, is a pulga a swap meat or is it it's a both? A, a, a it's slang. Ah. I think you know. I've never called it pulga, but I know a lot of people well, do wait, say no, that. You, shit. you mean piojo? Piojo is what's on your head. A pulga is what's on a dog, but it's also what they call swap meats. I think. <laughs> I think it's like a really, really like slangy getaway way of saying um, swap because I've heard my parents say it a few times, but I never caught on to it. So you got piojo, pulga, and then pulga. Piojos on humans. Piojos on humans. So piojos are lice. Yes. Pulga is it's fleas. Something in the dog. I don't know if it's because garrapata is also one. Oh, okay. Don't even bring no more words Okay, out. okay. <laughs> but one of them bites humans. That's why I don't know what the, the difference the, uh, is. Lice bites humans. No, but that's for humans. I'm talking about dogs. Fleas are, are for dogs. Yes, but do fleas bite humans? No, right? I've, I've got... Ticks, I ticks, 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 ticks. Oh, ticks are a whole nother story. That's yeah. like a menace, bro. That's, that's like a flea with black air forces. Okay, so that... <laughs> Dude, you know ticks are blind? No. They're blind and they, they no. have like... They, they sense like heat. So if they see like a heat stroke, <laughs> like a stroke of heat right here, they jump and they like... So then those are the fuckers that those bite are the, humans. Those are the big ones. The big black ones. You have to burn off. You can't pull them off. You have to oh, burn them. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> but one of them gets humans. And that's I, why I think, you're not supposed to sleep with your dog, supposedly. But no, fleas do bite you, though. Fleas bite you, but they don't okay, so go, they don't stay in your hair. See, I don't fucking know. Well, one of them bites humans, and then that's why a lot of um people... <laughs> I remember growing up, we used to know, like, people that would have, like, bites all over them. <laughs> and then my parents no, would always are, be like, because they let the dog sleep with them. Those are bed bugs. No, babe. Bed bugs are another thing. Bed bugs? Bed bugs, be, bro, they be no, crazy. No, babe. It's the ones that are on dogs, I swear. And... I remember because the dogs used to be all like musty, dusty, crusty. Like they'd be walking around like outside in the fields for days. Damn, imagine a dog, bro. You shave the hair and just full of bites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. A bunch of little like, dude, I wonder if that's how it is for dogs. That's why it's always like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's why they're scratching themselves. Yeah. <gasps> Poor dogs. That made me so sad now. <laughs> yeah, because I know some of them bite humans. And like, that's why humans have a bunch of little like little marks on their body. I don't know. Something like that, but I, I don't know. I've never had that happen to me. Yeah, you're not supposed to lay in, like, random grass if it's not clean, you know? It, they'll jump on you. Uh, okay, can we talk about why grass is itchy? Why is grass itchy? You, did you ever get itched with your grass? It depends what kind of grass. Some, okay, some grass. see? That's my question. What's the difference? Educate us. All right, you got crabgrass. Crabgrass is the worst, all right? I hate crabgrass because when we would mow lawns, if I get crabgrass from a lawn that I'm mowing and I mow my own lawn with the same blade... That grass would grow in my lawn, even if I didn't have it. It's like, it's like an STD. Jake, I don't. I'm, I, every day, every day, I realize how much of a white man he is. 
He cares about grass. He knows the name of grass. I thought grass was like one size. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have brought up STD because I don't know too much about STDs and how they're spread. But it's like no, I think STDs are spread. But you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Like it's like spread like like an STD, I guess. Yeah, because you pick it up and then you go put it everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. Sense. You can see. So that's what happens with crabgrass and crabgrass is. You could just said a disease or something. My, yeah, I should. <laughs> Wait, STD is a disease. I don't. Whatever. We're Keep dumb. Going. All right, Keep look at so <laughs> the crabgrass is like the little grass that grows like all like all dumb. It's like like this, like all stupid, and it makes your Grass ugly. That's what my parents have. Is that one free? That's yeah. Your parents okay. got crab grass. <laughs> Cause I'm like, no, but I don't think they tried to. I think the gardeners gave them it. Yeah, he charges like five bucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> my boy don't wipe his blades. Yeah, I don't think he. It's not a bougie it's, man. It, my mom like, found him like. It's like getting your haircut and then the guy doesn't doesn't spray oh, it and then just another haircut. No way! Is it like that? Yeah, that's why they have to spray it. <laughs> y'all got the. Wait y'all got a the, minute. So the bougie. Like lawn people, they actually like clean their blades. I don't think you clean them, but I think you don't. You just don't cut crabgrass. You gotta weed whack that boy. And then you get the weed you, whacker, and then you put it on the next one. No, because weed whacker is a little string. So after a while, you just bang it, and then the more string comes out. That's how I know Nat doesn't mow the lawn, do any lawn work. My bro. white man, he's a white old man. Nah, that's the Mexican in me. No, I yes. promise you, like Mexicans do not care about grass. Actually, maybe some. I promise you, they do. Maybe when they're old. Nah, even when they're young, bro. I don't think so. Dude, the the guy that has his own, uh, what is it, landscaping business across the street from your dad, have you seen his grass? My boy has lines. Who are you talking lines. about? He lives like down, like behind, behind your dad. But he has lines. Behind? Yeah, he has lines. Uh, like, bro. I promise you they're not Mexican. I swear they are. I've seen them before. Yeah, why is grass itchy? Yeah, why is grass itchy? I have no idea, bro. Because I remember playing in the grass, and, like, I remember my mom being like, you're going to start itching. You're going to have to shower right after. And, yeah, dude, like, you'd itch so bad. I don't know. I think maybe there's, like, different types of grass, cheap grass, expensive grass. I saw this TikTok, like, two days ago, and it was, like, this guy um, saying, like, it's that time again. And he comes out with this, like, pole that has, like, four little, um, like, pokey things at the bottom. And he's, like, poking this, like, circle of, like, um, dirt. And he's, like, throwing other, like, uh, dirt on it. And it's because the dog peed on it and it made a spot, right? And so he's over here trying to revive it. So he's, like, poking it, adding all types of little chemical. I'm, like, my boy's no adding, way. My boy's adding weed and feed. There's <laughs> no way. Like, That's not my dad. I want to be like that. My because dad. you know what that means? Hmm. It means that you truly have retired. It's either you have retired or, two, this is what you're doing in your spare time. Is it not? that? I feel like that's what it is. But I feel like going to a house and they have nice grass, it tells a lot about a person, you know? Yeah, it means that you're A, bougie, B, organized, and C, it means that you have a hobby. That's freaking amazing. It's like me with the inside of my house. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I remember my dad has like a little cart and you put weed and feed in there. So it kills the weed and it feeds the grass. The fact that you know all this is crazy. And it's like little seeds and he, and he has a little, like the little cart that he rolls. It has a thing on the bottom. It just like circles out the whole the, the cart whole, that weed, he rolls? The whole seeds. What the fuck are you talking about? Like it's like a cart, like think of a shop. All right, it's a Target shopping cart, but the to- uh, the bottom of the cart, it's a little fan. And when the Louis- is that the, the 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 cutting grass thingy, the one that's automatic? No, nah, it doesn't cut grass. It oh. throws seeds at the bottom, so it goes like it spreads its seed. You know, so it's, he's as he's moving, it's spreading the seed, it's spreading the seed, it's spreading the seed. It's going. Just know we're gonna have green ass grass because Jake knows a lot about it. Hey, tell me why. I would love to know. Tell me why. I know Joel and Jason cut the front yard now. And th- those lines aren't straight. They're not even lines no more. I think they just cut it to cut it. But when I was there, it looked like a baseball field. It looked like a golf course. I had like, the lines straight. I had, I had like lines uh, going diagonal. And right at the middle of the diagonal point, it would go the, uh, horizontal. So You have so much time on your hands. I just like cutting the grass. That's freaking amazing. Thank you. That means we don't have to spend on a gardener because we have to hire someone that Cleans your blades, right? All right. See, I'm learning. <laughs> now nah, we're going to hire your, your mom's guy. Hey, he's hella cool, bro. Five bucks. He just comes, does that shit real quick, and then dips. <laughs> but it's also because my parents have one patch of grass. You, you. <laughs> my mom is <laughs> so we Listen, hear me out, okay? We started off with two cars, and then it, it grew. Like, my dad has freaking work trucks and cars and cars and cars and cars. So then they just chopped all the grass off and just did one huge driveway so we don't have grass anymore. And my mom also, I think, you know, my mom loves plants. Plants, but she doesn't really fuck with grass that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, we don't know anything about grass like that. But I do think it's cool because I would love, I would love to have a. What the? She just your, mom, herself. your mom's plants are getting out of hand, though. They just, are, bro. You seen those sunflowers? No, the, not the sunflower. The other <laughs> one, the, the one that's super, super long. This is a sunflower, bro. It's not the sunflower. It has an orange flower. Oh, 
Yeah, my mom gets out of pocket with her, and then, and then she harvests them and she puts them inside, <laughs> and when they look pretty, <laughs> dude, my mom used to have hella roses, and like she just goes out there, cuts them, and then puts them in a vase. It's like the most mom thing to do, but that's when she had time. She doesn't have time no more. That's where they're getting out of hand. <laughs> she does like flowers though. That I love that. I freaking would love to be able to have time to spend on my garden, but it's like you gotta pick. You'd be a bad gardener because I get you flowers and you just you don't even feed them. What am I supposed to do to them? Water. Them, I do give them water. And then but that's the it. second day, you just take take out all that water, put more water, and then you can put a little bit of sugar and like vinegar, bro. Those flowers will be those flowers will become like your mom's. Babe, that's a that's a pet. That's an actual pet. Damn. But you know what? My mom does do that for her freaking flowers. They be lasting her. She got this um eucalyptus stuff from this like bouquet from Target, and those bitches are still alive. And it's from I think the fourteenth. I'm thinking about her fish thing, bro. Oh, <laughs> she's a hoarder, <laughs> bro. My boy, she got a tilapia in like a little <laughs> tank like this. How oh, you? Bitch. Hey, I'm going deep sea fishing. I'm about to bring her back a, a like a shark to eat all the fish. It's no. Explain why. Because they're going to think that she's an animal abuser. Let me explain to you why. My dad basically got a job in LA and then they had a pool and this pool was neglected for fucking years because it was literally black. And inside of the pool, to their surprise, well, they their whole mission there was to clean the backyard and then bury the pool. So when they looked in the pool, there was like a thousand fish and the fish were like this big. And so, obviously, they were just going to kill all of them. Like, Why did she pick the pregnant one, though? <laughs> bro, it was an accident. So, basically, the guy said um, that they had to drain the water or whatever. Or that they were going to drain the water. I don't know. Something like that. But he was going to hire somebody to come do that. So, all those fishes were going to be killed. Because I don't think the guy was going to pay for them to get relocated. Plus, Emma, they're like those they're, wild. They're goldfish, bro. Yeah, they were goldfish that, like, grew. Who? Bro, every time of the day, bro, <laughs> my dad, Nelly, my mom. At all times of the day. Just for random shit, too. Oh, hey. Sorry, I forgot. You have a detail tomorrow. Oh, what time? Uh, 10. In the morning, 8. I don't know if that fits my schedule. Nah, nah, nah. You, you gotta know. make it. You gotta make um, it. What was he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Goldfish. So, yeah, I think this guy was just gonna have him, like, just throw these. There's too many fish. When I tell you there's, like, 500 fish, I mean it. There were so many fishes. So, my mom... Decided that she was going to save four. How many did she save? No, she saved three first. She was like, she just felt so bad. So she's like, I'm going to take these home. <laughs> so she got them and she she literally saved their life. And then the next day. There was like three more. My dad was like, oh, there was these still there. So he brought them. Oh, I thought it gave birth to a couple of them. No, babe. They brought more because they were, they just felt bad. But obviously they couldn't house all of them. I actually don't know what happened to those fish. I'm gonna so ask in my total, mom. I think there's five. There's like. Three big ones and two, like, normal size goldfish. Yeah, my mom has to find out what she's going to do with those fucking fish. I think my dad should build her a pond in the back. This just happened, like, a week ago. But <laughs> I think my dad should build her, like, a little pond in the back and then just, like, throw those your mom, Your mom about to make ceviche. <laughs> Dude, there's so many fish. And she's like, I saved their life. I'm like, Mom, you got to get these fishes out of here. They're literally going to jump out this freaking fish at tank. At least they have clean water, though. Yeah, and food. My mom feeds them so much. Oh, my God. You go up to the tank, and they're all like. Cook. Yeah, they know. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want free goldfish, let me know. My mom was just, I don't know what that guy did there's with those a pregnant, fish. There's a pregnant one. I'm telling you, that, that Bro, boy that belly. that bitch is fat, huh? He got a, a beer belly. Yeah, he's fat. All right, I think we should wrap up today's podcast. I got to leave before I get tired. Oh, my gosh. You're leaving right now. Hey, huh? 30, 30 minutes went by quick, though. Yeah, we were talking shit about my mom. <laughs> and about, we're talking smack about her, her garden, her gardener, her grass. Her grass. You were being so mean about her grass. Her grass is like a bald spot on a guy's head. Dude, oh, and then my mom's grass, it always gets burnt by Ellie, Thea, and Bailey, so <laughs> <laughs> there's always spots everywhere. But, and no, they do get mad at that. Yeah. They tell us not to let the dogs pee in the front grass. They say in the bottom grass, <laughs> not the top grass. Dude, the dogs are, like, worn out. Like, they are asleep right now. Ellie's on the couch asleep. Thea's on the floor asleep, and they are worn out. They swim. All day. All, all, all week. All week. All week. They were just swimming, swimming, swimming. Um, but we're finally back from our trip. Today was, like, a super busy day. We were supposed to film this podcast in the morning. As soon as we got home, but we had to catch up on work. And tomorrow's another long day of filming. Yes, sir. I'm exhausted. I don't think I'm going to have signal. Why? I'm going to be in the middle of the ocean. Dude, you know how scary that is? Don't even say it. Good luck. That scares me so bad. I cannot do that. Deep sea fish. Anything in the boat just scares me. Just just know, if I get if I fall off that boat, I'm coming with a dolphin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Those killer like, whales are going to take you out, boy. Uh, I'm about to be like the avatar. They're going to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, those whales are taking you out for sure. You know they're hella mad at boats. 
I see. Good oh. luck. Oh no, that's in Port- that's luck. in Portugal though. Portugal beefing it with I the orcas. I thought it was in Spain. It's I think in Portugal. No, I'm pretty sure it was Spain. Maybe I don't know. I'm just I'm just wanting contradiction. You don't even know where Spain. I just want to fight. <laughs> yeah. All right, though. Thank you so much for watching today's podcast. I know it's a short one, but we'll make it up for you guys on the next one. I promise. We'll have money. Uh, funny money? topics. Yeah, we we'll have, have money. We'll I have hope money. we have money. We'll have money. Oh, I watch really the hope ads. We do. Reading about money. Watch the ads, please. If an please. ad pops up right after this, please watch it. Just. You know, go put some food in the microwave and let it let it play. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. Please let me know about the Airbnb situation because I really need to fix this now, like yeah. today, like yesterday should have been fixed type shit. So yeah, please. don't forget to tell us why our grass is itchy. And, oh, that too. And we'll see you guys in the next podcast. Bye. Bye.